Yeah. Are you ready? You ready? Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Soap the Great, and I am currently playing on the Too Crafty Vanilla Amplified server. How is everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. So what are we doing right now? Well, we're headed through the nether up to the Guardian Farm. I figured we'd try something new and different. Yep, Guardian Farm again. Uh, it's not really that new and different, is it? Nope. So last time we were together, we got the nether portal situation figured out and we just come down here this is not going to be the permanent tunnel by any stretch we're going to change it up but not today we still got some decorating to do a bunch of these guys hanging out because I've been hanging out a lot oh hello I've been hanging out a lot over here so I'm gonna put my, my camera down because I have been doing some work so when we were here last we did that that uh, another portal and you can see even on the floor that things might be a little different so let me do the grand reveal let's see where is it where is it oh right through here yep are you ready you ready yeah there we go I have been busy so we can see a little bit of the floor design here I marked out the center so that's right there and then a little bit of a did a kind of a cross right here, a plus sign. Uh, I won't be able to get rid of the rain because I've got my lag mitigation helper over there at the skeleton grinder again. I'm going to work on some other tests later for removing the lag, but uh, right now that's the easiest, so just keep the guardians from spawning. So then we've got concentric circles of the, what is that, lantern? Oh got lightning coming close so lantern then the prismarine bricks lantern so on all the way out and I'm gonna show you a map of what it looks like actually things might be a little different now and then we're also bringing in the color of the orange stained clay oh hello sun hi I missed you okay Anyway, uh, I've also done the sorting system. So if we take a look here, yep, we got a bunch of the shards there. Again, I have been hanging out a lot, uh, enough that I think I have been annoying some of the other two Craftians, and Anarchy came over and tried to prank me and ended up killing me because I drowned in some ice that uh, she had left on or right around my character but uh, but yeah I've been hanging out here not too many of those and then we've got a little bit of a junk thing here uh, nothing nothing extra but if anything happens to fill up it's going to come over into the junk area and I'll, I'll show you that as we progress through the little world tour so I've had a lot more time to play than to record and so that's why I've been doing this we are in the process of moving as you may be aware of and uh, well we've got the contract on the house and so the my wife and kids have been back and it's been well I mean they they take a lot of care and and yeah so it's uh, it's been kinda crazy just trying to keep the house fairly neat and and also um, and, and also keep things rolling with the house without too much interruption but but yeah I wanted to bring you over and show you kinda of what I've been working on off camera so let's let's see just real quick up here you can see the design kinda of from a high level view and then you can also see that the former platforms that I was running back and forth across are now gone instead they are replaced by this water and ice channel so this goes over to the item elevators so all the items come up through that block right there and then they go along the water stream here and if you're wondering why I'm not seeing the flowing water it's because I am running with Optifine I wonder if you can see that in here you see Optifine in there yeah it's there at the top yeah so I'm running Optifine. I've turned off that animation just to reduce some of the lag because there is some client and server talking 
as to what should be flowing and not flowing. So turn that off just to reduce possibilities of lag with the guardians down below because those are in flowing water. But, uh, but yeah, so the items just come along this water stream, come down here, and then you can see it. That's what I needed the ender chests for. The items hit the ender chest from the water stream. They get aligned kind of halfway between this ice and the hopper. And then we've got a sorting system. This is the Impulse SV design with overflow protection. And this just picks off. There's the filter for some prismarine crystals. We got three of those in a row. Mainly because the, the sea lanterns don't take as much of the crystals. Well, I mean, they take more crystals than shards, but the shards are also used for the other recipes. Why do you have 64 in there? Huh. Is that because... Oh, that's full. That would be why. Okay, understood. And then down here we've got the fish. Not really a big fan of it, but it makes things look even down here. So we've got one layer for the inked, and then one layer for junk, and then three for fish, three for crystals, and eight for the shards. Uh, we still got some work to do up here. I need a crafting area, and then I need to put a roof on it. You see that's kind of missing? We don't want that. We want a roof. And then the other thing here, you see I've got a little bit of an entrance, and that's what we're going to be working on today on the other side. Is there anything else over here? Ah, yes. If too many fish uh, overflow, then it's going to go into this dropper, and that's going to shoot out onto the cactus. Also, the overflow, or if the overflow section gets full, or all of these filters get full, then the items are just going to skip over them, come into this water stream, and drop onto the cactus. So we have built-in item destruction as well. So if we happen to hit that issue, then we are taken care of. So let's see, anything else? Let's drop down to the basement. I think we can safely do that. I've moved the access to the basement to right there. I think we can update these maps. I have not done that yet. Let me get that real quick. And there we go. We've had a, a log on and a log off as well, so stuff should be fixed. You can see a little bit of a project right there. I had grandiose plans for starting another big project, kind of ping-ponging between the two. just wasn't working out. Uh, too, uh, I would have had to carry too many resources around and I just didn't it didn't seem like it would be worth the time so what we're gonna do is we're going to build a door I need to do that nope what we're gonna do it like we saw on the other side um, we need to build a door to get to to back here no that's not where I want it placing pistons can be kind of difficult let's Let's get right there. There we go. And there. And nope. Same thing. And I've got plenty of pistons, so yeah, there we go. Alright, so that's going to be the door. This is going to be a flush, uh, not seamless, but flush door. And then what we'll do is just get ourselves a little bit of scaffolding and come up here. Hopefully I get this right. Kind of trying to build on camera it can be difficult at times. What we want to do is have some redstone there. I try not to talk about it while I'm doing it on camera. We'll find out soon enough if that is correct. And then what we need to do is make our little switch. So we take a sticky piston. Here I am going into full tutorial mode. So let me tell you about what's been going on at the house. So I've told you we had a buyer. We've got a contract on the house or contract to sell the house, which is pretty exciting. It means that we're well on our way. We've also gotten a contract to purchase a new house. Let's see, what do we need next? Um, we don't need that anymore. Take that, put that there, and then need that. What else? We're good on that. And repeater. Yeah, so we've also put a contract on a house in the city to which we are moving. 
which is also pretty exciting. We're also going to be getting a little bit of extra land. There was a piece of property behind the house that we wanted to get, and that ended up, let's see, how's this going to work? Yeah, so it's an extra quarter acre. It was owned by a real estate developer who wanted to build a house on it initially, but he ended up just uh, since things aren't looking so good for building new houses in that town, it um, yeah he's he's willing to sell the land uh, kind of you know, apart from building a house on it. So we're going to be getting a little extra land as well. So you know it's not you know we're not going to be we don't have this huge estate or anything, but but uh, it'll it'll be nice. We we'll get a little bit extra room for the kids to play around in and. Uh, it's kind of exciting. So, what we need to do here, we need, you know what, I need to go look at my template. So let's go do that real quick. Yeah, so I just wanted to bring you along and let you know some of what's going on. Again, you are getting this video way, way, way after all of these things have come to fruition, or hopefully. So we are set to close at the end of May on both houses. Oh, I see. I got it. And that's going to go right there. Yeah, yeah. And then over here. Yeah, I got it now. Let's, let's just pop up here. Yeah, I got the correct direction there. It's just I'm doing the wrong thing on the... On that switch. Okay, I got it. So we'll go back over. Yeah, so end of May for the closing. And this is scheduled to come out end of um, June. So we should be in and settled by that point. And, you know, I don't, I don't exactly know what that's going to mean for, for the channel or for recording or anything like that. But, you know, we'll play it by ear. Let's see where we go from there. But uh, let's come up here. We're going to get the furnace. The reason we do furnace is because that is not pushable by the uh, sticky piston right there. And then what we'll do is we'll get the the main switch for that guy. And we'll put one of these torches here. Okay, so that should have extended. And then what we'll do is we'll just run some, uh, run that in. We'll strongly power that with a repeater. And then we'll do this and should be good. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. let's just, let's just actually stack the blocks. Okay. So we'll take a repeater. Right there, no ticks. We don't need that anymore. And then redstone dust all the way around like so. And then a little bit of redstone dust here. And then we'll bring back our... No, we won't run right there. Yeah. And there we go. All right, so what's going to happen is this is a bud update detect or a block update detector we're going to use a button on the back so we can get out easily you see it did a little bit of a, a pulse there but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have that as a hidden torch key and that's going to run into this little comparator decay clock like we see here I've built these before I really like them um, yeah there we go they, they're, they're pretty simple to build. Nope, no, no, no. You don't go there. You come over here. Okay, so we're going to run that repeater into a comparator facing that way. Did I get it correct? Yep. I should have just come over here. And another comparator. And then two comparators like this. I'm... Um, See, building in creative versus building in survival is 
very, very different. I think I prefer creative sometimes. So we'll come over here. See, you have to even have to eat. Let's do this. Okay. Then what we want to do is run. We'll take out that block. Put a solid block there. Grab that. And then we'll do a quick test. Yeah, hook that all up. And then let's just run that. There we go. That gives us our open. Close it. Okay, that's good. And then, like I said, it's a hidden torch key, so we'll do that. Take our key back. There we go. So now we've got a way to get into this side. Um, did I did I break something? Yeah, I broke something. Yeah, yeah, pretty bad. There we go. Uh, no, it's still broken. Yeah, there we go. So sometimes that happens um, because we we are messing with butted pistons. So we'll do that and that, and then just rebuild this whole front here, like so, and good to go. Do that, and there we go. Bob's your uncle. We've got ourselves a gate. Okay, so this is what's called the Jeb door. It's a two by one version of it. And you saw that it does not show that it is a door. And then we've also got this contraption here. If you force this thing to check, um, then you know, normally if you just put something like a block here, you know that detects that a block update happens close to it. But you can also force it to do a check by sending some sort of redstone tick to this block right here. So, so there we go. All right. And then we take a pulse when this when this redstone block comes forward, it's going to quickly power this redstone dust. We extend the signal a little bit, turning on this decay clock and that keeps that door open just long enough for us to go through. And there we go. We've got ourselves a door. I'll take that. All right. Well, that's about it for now, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed. And again, uh, we are progressing. And and hey, you know, we're we're getting close to finishing here. You know, I I said I had thought about doing another project and trying to ping pong between the two, but I really I couldn't bring myself to do it. We're going to finish this thing up fairly soon. Um, by the next time we are together, I should have a roof on this thing. And we should be working on the nether tunnel and pretty much calling this whole thing done. But we are very close. The thing is functional. It is open to the two craftians. In fact, by the time you get this video, they have been using this thing for about a month. So so if you see, if you've seen items from the farm showing up in people's builds, well that's why. Because they are using this farm. It's just I've asked them to not show it on camera, but hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.